Hey, this is Marvel and Brown, and today we're going to talk about Chat GPT. So, Chat GPT is all the rage. Everyone's talking about it. It's a really great tool that you can use to come up with ideas. So, you can come up with ideas, you can come up with content. If you're someone who struggles to find the right words, if you're doing, for example, an advertisement for something, maybe you're promoting a affiliate um, product or you're doing a blog post or you are trying to come up with something for a video that you're, you want to launch on your video channel. There are just a lot of different things that you can use this for. And what it does is you give it information about what you want to do and then it comes up with ideas. And so you can use this in a lot of different ways. I've used it to come up with titles for my blog post. So I struggle with titles. So I'm not really good at coming up with those eye-catching titles that, you know, scroll-stopping, eye-catching titles. So you can use this tool um, to come up with titles, headlines, product descriptions, you know, if you're stumped for, you know, what to say that would motivate, you know, your ideal customers to take a look at your product, this tool can help you with that. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration. And the way that you sign up for ChatGPT is you go to their website and their website is https colon forward slash forward slash chat dot openai dot com forward slash chat so i'm going to put that in the um in the description so that you will be able to head over and um and sign up and you can sign up using your gmail account you don't have to use your personal email account and um, a lot of times though i'm going to tell you when you go over to chat GPT to sign up because it's so popular it may tell you that it's not available so what you would want to do is you just want to check back later because there are peak times a lot of people are using this tool so let's go ahead and um, take a look I'm just going to type in um, something that I need an idea for so I think I'm just going to type in, um, we have an upcoming um, holiday. It's not really a holiday. It's more of an observance for next month, and that is Women's History Month. So we'll say five tips. If Let's see. Um, I need five tips for, let's see, five tips on how to promote Women's History Month, okay? Um, and I'll say on my blog, on my blog, okay. All right, so five tips. All I'm looking for is five tips on how to um, promote Women's History Month. And then I hit this little, looks like a paper airplane, but I hit this little icon, and then it's going to, okay, so it says an error occurred. So what that means is I haven't been using this for a while. I signed in this morning, hopefully. Okay, so it's letting me sign back in. So let's do this over again. So all I did, it gave me an error message. So what I did was I just refreshed my screen. So we're going to type this in again. Okay, so um, I need five, um, we'll say upbeat tips on how to promote Women's History Month. Okay, I'm on my blog. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try this again. So then once you type it in and look, so here we go. It's giving me the tips and it's writing all of it out. So, you know, when you are using this tool, and this is what I've heard, I don't know, you know, how um, accurate this is, but what I'm hearing through the grapevine is that Google can tell when you are using artificial intelligence. 
So if, for example, it's giving me all of the tips, so it's done, it's giving me the tips really quick, right? So here are the five tips, up, upbeat tips on how to promote Women's History Month on my blog. The thing that I can do with this is, and this is what some people are probably doing, they are just taking this and highlighting everything and copying and pasting it into their blog, right? Or they're copying and pasting it word for word into their promotional materials. They are posting it word for word on social media or on their YouTube channel or wherever they are sharing their content. So the thing that you have to do, and this is, you know, because you don't want there to be a negative uh, consequence from using this, you want to make sure that you're making this content your own. So you want to take this content and you want to put it into your own unique words. So this gives you some really great places to start, but you don't want to just use this verbatim. You want to make it your own. So that is the tip that I would give you to keep you out of trouble with Google. Um, I don't know that Google can really tell if you are using artificial intelligence. Who knows? But I still think the benefit is worth it because if you're struggling to come up with content, or you're not coming up with good content, then it's still gonna be a penalty, you know, with Google. Cause they're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna pay your stuff any attention and neither will anyone else. No one will see your content and you're just gonna continue to struggle. Whereas if you use something that gives you, um, you know, innovative, bright, fresh ideas, and it also maybe uses keywords and that's the other thing that you might want to do when you're putting in your question, you might want that question to be keyword rich. So that way, the feedback that you're going to get is also going to be using some of those same keywords. So, um, but the thing that you want to do with this is you want to, you know, put in the right, you know, um, input so that you get great output. So as they say, you know, in some of the other contexts, garbage in, garbage out. So you don't want to put garbage in. You want to give some thought to the questions that you're asking and you want to, um, you want to make sure that you're using keywords that will help the tool understand exactly what you are looking for. So we're going to try this one more time. I'm going to, um, maybe enter something with a few more uh, keywords. So let's try this again. So I'm just going to go back up to my original question and I'm going to highlight it and we're going to put it into this um, question box again. We're going to paste it and then we're going to say, um, let's see, um, how to promote women's history. Um, Um, let's see, and okay, so let me kind of think here. We want upbeat tips, we want motivational tips. So let's say motivational, inspiring tips on how to promote Women's History Month to um, generate more leads. So this is giving it a little more specific information because the reason I want to promote Women's History Month is I want to attract more women to my business and I want to generate more leads. So I want my content to be motivational. I want it to be inspiring. And I also want to generate more leads. So let's see what the tool comes up with. Okay, so here it is, it's working again, and we're just gonna see um, what the difference is between the uh, content that was provided with the first question versus the uh, feedback that I'm getting on the second question, which was a little more uh, in depth.
Okay, so gave me my five tips and these tips look to be a little bit more detailed. So let's go up and take a look at the first set of um, a feedback that I got, the first, you know, uh, group that we got in that first question. So the first question was, I need five upbeat tips on how to promote Women's History Month on my blog. So then it gives me five um, tips, highlight inspiring women, choose a few inspiring women from history and write articles about their achievements and impact on the world, share interesting facts and stories about these women uh, that people may not know. That's a good one. Uh, create a Women's History Month series. Write a series of articles, each focusing on a different aspect of women's history. For example, you could write about the role of women in different industries, women's rights movements, or the achievements of women in the arts. Love that. Share quotes from influential women. I love that for social media. So share inspiring quotes from influential women throughout history on your social media accounts and blog. This is a great way to raise awareness about Women's History Month and inspire others. Host a virtual event. Consider hosting a virtual event such as a panel discussion or a webinar to celebrate Women's History Month. You can invite speakers to share their stories and insights on the role of women in history. Love that idea. Partner with organizations. So partner with organizations that support women's rights and empowerment, such as local women's museums to promote Women's History Month. This can help you reach a wider audience and promote the important role of women in history. I love all of those. And that was really a vague question, but it gave me detail. And that's what I really like about this tool is it really goes into detail when it comes to sharing uh, the feedback. So now I gave it a little more detail in this second question. Let's see how it answered. So five motivational and inspiring tips to promote Women's History Month and generate more leads. I didn't really say generate leads on my blog, but we're just going to go with it. And um, here we go. So offer incentives, offer incentives such as special discounts or freebies to encourage people to learn more about Women's History Month and engage with your content. This can help you generate more leads and drive traffic to your blog. So guess what? I guess maybe based on the first, um, on the first question, maybe it kind of, it seems like it's intuitive because it brought in, you know, the fact that I want to drive traffic to my blog and that I want to, um, you know, get more leads. So great. Use social media. Utilize social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram to reach a wider audience and promote Women's History Month. Use hashtags such as hashtag Women's History Month to connect with others and raise awareness. Love it. Create engaging content. Create engaging content such as infographics, videos, and podcasts to help people understand and appreciate the significance of Women's History Month. Use humor, storytelling, and other creative elements to help keep people interested and engaged. Collaborate with influencers. So collaborate with influencers, bloggers, and other thought leaders in your industry to promote Women's History Month and reach a wider audience. You can work together on a project, host a virtual event, or simply share each other's content. Show your support. Um, show your support for Women's History Month by hosting a charity event, donating to a relevant cause, or participating in a local event. This not only promotes Women's History Month, but also helps to build your brand and connect your audience on a, a deeper level. All of these are amazing to me. In my opinion, these are great ideas. Even the ones from the, uh, the first group, you know, where I had that very vague uh, question. So I think ChatGPT is going to um, only get better over time. I think this is the initial rollout. You can still access it for free. I would utilize this tool as much as possible um, to help you especially if you're someone who struggles with uh, creating content. 
So I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me. And um, I would definitely give chat GPT a chance um, and try it out. See if you like it. I mean, everything is not for everyone, but I really think that it's a really simple way for you to get the content help that you need. And um, it's fairly quick and easy. So thanks again. Talk to you on the next video. Have a great week.